Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess here. Today we have my lovely sister Joanna and she's currently got um, She's done a skin treatment. So her skin looks extra bad. Okay, so she usually has active acne um, There are some dead ones. I'm just gonna quickly show you as you can see there are some pimples there other than all the um, Graded stuff and then there's a pimple there <laughs> A few there and etc. She doesn't have that many on her forehead and not many on her chin. My two favorite concealers, the Hourglass and the Benefit. You want to just focus on the areas first that you want to get rid of. Oh, <laughs> so I'm just putting this where her pores are because this is an amazing one and I'm just rubbing that in now with the hourglass that's where I'm gonna pop everywhere else on her face and this is just a very nice illuminating veil it makes your skin feel like you have something on top of it it's just so good I feel like my nose is running. <laughs> I have tissues. I feel like the eyelash is somewhere stuck in my right eye. This one? Or that one? Is that one? That you look down? Oh no, inside the eyeball. Oh, that's okay. Because you have two eyelashes stuck underneath. Another great product that I recommend if you have any dark circles or you have something you want to get rid of that's a bit darker. This is the Becca Concealer. So this is the correcting one. I'm just gonna dot a few about here around her mouth. Just on your face. So um, this is it does not take this long. Uh, it only takes about 15 minutes to do. Um, the only thing is you're not gonna put that much stuff on your face. But I just like using the orange to correct everything, and I just like using finger stamping motions to kind of bring it and drag it just around her pimples. <laughs> Sorry. Can't that one. <laughs> so Joe's favorite well, the only foundation she has is this NARS one, but this is a really good one. It is a sheer glow foundation, but I just want to show you that you can really use any kind of foundation. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shoto Concealer, and I'm going to use this as well to cover her pimple. So when we put the sheer glow on, so when we put the sheer glow on, you don't have to put much more product on there. You don't want it to be too cakey. You don't want it to be too cakey. <laughs> Um, after you put your foundation on because then it's just not going to look much nicer. So with the shape tape, I'm just going to literally put a few dots there. Now this is a bit darker than her skin tone, so just... <laughs> And then you want to go get your foundation. <laughs> it doesn't. Work. <laughs> it doesn't. Work. You should have went back to that. Yeah. Now don't apply this. I'm just doing this because it's my sister. But uh, if you want, apply this on the back of your hand because when you apply it to the back of your hand, um, it gets warmer faster. Now I'm getting my Nakia Joy sponge, and I'm just gonna start blending everything that we just did together and I'm not pushing it I'm literally just dabbing and for even if you're doing a very quick look please don't forget to put some color on your ears because you want it to look like this is your face
I'm gonna be taking my concealer. This is an amazing creamy concealer. This is the Born This Way. Another one that I highly recommend is the LA Girl Concealer. So you just wanna put a little bit under your eye. I'm bringing this a bit lower with this RCMA palette so we can find her shade and I think she's gonna be like something like that. Now with this, we can just dot everything that we want to get rid of. A secret powder of mine is the Nakia Joy Powder. Now, I want to zoom you guys in closer and I just want to show you the difference that this is going to make. I want you to look up for me. So, I'm just going to start by pressing this around here. I'm just going to put this on one side of her face and then I'm going to show you the difference when you don't put this powder on. So, I just want to show you the difference between this side of her face and then this side of her face. So as you can see, yeah, there's still that dewiness, but do you see how there's so much texture? And then when you go around here, you don't see as much texture. So look up for me. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't put this all over the face. Um, Both of my face is really Just because graded. of your, yeah, and just, yeah, graded. <laughs> but if it wasn't, I'd only put this under your eyes and um, your nose and stuff just because you want it to look as smooth as like possible kind of thing. I don't do much to her eyes. I'm just gonna put some of the Napoleon Paris um, Starlight Loose Glitter. This is how it comes. Just gonna take a little bit of highlight out of the way. And I like to add a lot. It is the Kat Von D, um, what is this? The Kat Von D, I don't even know, I bought it this time. Ages ago, the contour and light palette. So, obviously, this is my favorite contour shade. This is amazing for under the eyes. Um, this is actually a great kit for beginners. So, how about we go in with this um, and I'll show you quickly how to just contour when you want to go on the go. So, turn to the side now because she's not that dark, you want to go in with the middle shade. Now don't take too much, like there's way too much on my brush. So I'm gonna be dabbing that off. Now you wanna apply your contour just a bit below your cheek. I mean, just a bit below your ear. So her ear starts here, but I'm gonna apply it there. Now the reason you wanna do that is just because it actually gives a lot of dimension to the face. Now when I do that, I'm being a little bit messy with it because you don't really need to apply bronzer on the go. You can use this for both. And you just want to bring it up towards your nose and back. So up and back. And you want to bring that there because you want it to kind of be seamless. And that is literally a blended contour. So when she looks straight, can you see how it just like it just sculpts her face better, you know? For, that, for beginners is this Morphe one. And this is, oh, I can't open it that much, but this is how you're gonna get it. Look how she moves back. This is the Morphe palette. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's just like a more natural shade closer to her skin tone. Um, you don't have to add blush if you don't want. You can completely leave it like that. But just for an everyday look, you kind of wanna I don't know, for me, this is a step I would like take. And you just literally just want to tap that in. It just gives like the slightest effect. The only other two steps is the Ella Mascua, and this is an amazing powder. I'm going to actually use a brush for this. It's using this little brush, and you just want to use this. This is a fat. fat you want to say a foundation? <laughs> foundation powder. This is a foundation powder. So just look up and what is what this is gonna do 
is this is just gonna brighten and lift on the go. Okay, now because she has a lot of powder on, I'm just gonna get the Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray. You can use my code JMARS in the description for 30% off. And because she's already got great brows, I'm literally just adding the color back to them. And then I'm going to go in, this is a great um, drugstore highlighter, this is the Master Maybelline Master Chrome. Now this is incredible, I can't wait to show you how it looks. I have this, now because she's got color my area skin there, I'm not going to focus it there, I'm going to focus it on her cheeks. And I'm going to cut through and just put it towards her eyebrows, just like that. For lipstick, I do recommend using a lipstick and a lip gloss. This is the um, Miri Miri Nessie. I don't know how you say that. Yeah, I think you use Mary Ennis, I don't know how to say this, but I also have a coupon code. I also have a discount. I have a discount code for this brand. This is an amazing lip gloss and they have amazing brands. So hydrating and so great. I'm gonna go in with a bit of a darker liner. This is from Essence. And I'm just gonna very lightly sketch her lips. So you just wanna overline. If you want to overline, I'll just quickly show you how we do that now. And then with your top lip, you always wanna overline your cupid's bow just a little bit if you want to overline. I always recommend starting from your Cooper's work it's just easier to drag the rest of the product from your cupid's bow down. You know what I mean? So I'm um, because she's my sister, I'm using this, so it doesn't matter. You want to just make sure you start, I usually like to start with the bottom lip, it's completely up to you where you want to start. But if you take my advice, start your bottom lip first because when you do what I'm about to tell you to do, that it just transfers a bit and you know then from where to go after that so now you just want to get the dry color so you just want to spray all right everyone this is the final result i hope you enjoy long legs do you like it joe i love it <laughs> if you like this video and you want to see more videos on my series on beginners makeup and how to cover um then please subscribe to my channel down below and leave a comment on if you liked it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. I love it. Kiss or something, bro.